what actually is daytranotation.tech. For me, daytranotation.tech has been an excellent side hustle site that I've made nearly $11,000 from in just one year and I've even been able to work on the site whilst travelling the world. In this video, I'll be covering the types of work available, who owns the site, clients it's serving, negative experiences and how you can gain access to the site. We can see in this reddit comment from Jeremy, who acts as a sort of spokesperson for daytranotation.tech on reddit, that the site is used to train AI chatbots and this is done in a variety of ways such as conversating with a chatbot and then rating its responses, writing short stories on certain topics, labelling images and there's many other types of work available as well. As we can see from my dashboard when it's been its fullest, I usually have loads of different tasks available and I can jump into any of these as and when I please. So I have a wide variety of different types of work to do which helps to keep it from getting too repetitive. As we can see on my dashboard, I have tasks with pay rates ranging from $20 to $30 an hour. And the highest paying task I've had so far was $31 an hour. However, if you can code, which I can't, you can gain access to tasks paying up to $40 an hour. If you do well on the site, it is entirely possible to earn a full-time living from it, with many workers earning thousands of dollars each month. I've received comments from workers who are successfully solely working on daytranotation.tech and have found it suits their lifestyle better than any traditional job. And whilst daytranotation.tech offers a great level of pay and incredible flexibility, allowing the workers to complete the tasks when they want with no minimum amount of time needed to be worked and no maximum amount of hours able to be worked. I still wouldn't advise anyone to solely rely on daytranotation.tech as their only source of income. This is due to the risk of being kicked from the site, but we'll get into that later. This online article by The Verge looks into daytranotation.tech. We can see from it that daytranotation.tech is owned by Surge AI, which also owns other sites, but daytranotation.tech seems to be the biggest of them. It is then mentioned that over 100,000 annotators are working under Surge AI, and I'd bet a majority of those are on daytranotation.tech. Bear in mind as well that this article is from June 2023, a year ago, so the number of workers is likely higher now. And if we look on daytranotation.tech's about page, it states they have over 100,000 workers which suggests the Verge article's information is correct. The article then reveals who some of Surge's customers are, and you may have heard of some of these before. The mentioned customers include OpenAI, Google, Microsoft, Meta, and Anthropic. So it seems that the work being completed on daytranotation.tech could be being used to train what will be some of the biggest AIs in the world. So, does daytranotation.tech provide long-term work? I checked on Reddit to try and find the longest serving workers and a brief look revealed one who had been on the site for years from when it was known as Get Hybrid and another person who has worked on the site since 2020 and has not experienced any issues in that time. This shows that it definitely is possible to get consistent long-term work from the site. I personally have just finished my first year on the site as well and since the first few weeks I've always had work until the last few days. Unfortunately for around the past week my dashboard has been empty so it's very possible that I won't be able to work on the site anymore. I have been able to withdraw all the money I had in my account so I definitely won't be missing out on the money that I already earned. As it's only been about a week I may just be getting reviewed and if this is the case then my tasks will return soon. Whatever happens though I'll give an update video in the coming weeks. This commenter let me know previously that him and his wife have both successfully made working on daytranotation.tech their full-time jobs 
and are enjoying the flexibility of being able to work their own hours and on the projects they enjoy. I have no doubt that many other people will have replaced their full-time job with daytranitation.tech and I can understand why, as they could be getting paid more to work the hours they choose, all from their own home. However, I personally would never make daytranitation.tech my only source of income and would not advise any of you to do this either. Seemingly every day on Reddit and every week in my comments is a worker stating they have lost access to the work and that's unfortunately just the nature of these type of sites. If your work isn't up to the standards or they think you may be cheating the system, you'll be kicked from the site with no chance to explain yourself. So you need to be prepared in case this happens and having daytranitation.tech as your only source of income taken away from you without warning will obviously not leave you in a great place. And if we look back to the Verge article, we can see they are beginning to have AI that is able to train the AI which is being developed. And this could cause less work to be available on daytranitation.tech in the future, making people's chances of working full time on the site even slimmer. And although my personal experience on the site so far has been amazing, this has not been the case for everyone. Some of the most common issues that workers have claimed to have been affected by are not being paid, not receiving any feedback from the company, being kicked without warning and receiving no reply from support. Again, I can't really say that I've been affected by any of these issues and the one time I did actually email support, I received a reply back within a few days. And I would still encourage everyone who's interested to try and work for the site. Even if it's only for a little while, it can be a great money maker. But finally, one of the most common issues that I see people complaining about is not being accepted onto the site. With many applicants claiming daytranitation.tech is a scam because of this. They believe the site has stolen their personal information and they were never going to be accepted onto the site as it's just a scam. However, in reality, they were just unable to get past the starter assessment, which you need to pass to gain access to the site's work. For tips and tricks to help you pass the starter assessment, watch my video here, where I go into the types of questions you may receive, or check out my video here where I go through more of the reasons that people believe the site is a scam.